These days we can find so many LUTs, everyone is sharing them to give our videos a specific look. But how exactly do we use them inside Premiere Pro? And what's the difference between grading before or after the LUT? And what's a look and a LUT? So many questions. You know what, let me just answer them right after this. What's up you guys, Jordi here for Cinecom.net and welcome to the creative channel here on YouTube. Let's have a look at how to use LUTs properly inside Premiere Pro. To get started, we need to bring up the Lumetri panel here on the right side. If you can't locate that, head over to Window and just select the Lumetri color right here. And this was available from Creative Cloud version 2015.3, I believe, or 2015. So if you are below that version, try to update so that you have Lumetri as well. Under the basic correction tab, you will find input LUT and you can see that I've already applied a quick LUT in here. But under the creative tab here, you also have a LUT option here. So what's the difference between these two? Why should we go for this one rather than this one or the other way around? Well, let me just reset these values here. Gonna set that back to none, also here none. Down below here, we have all of our color correction options like the exposure, contrast, etc. And when doing these changes here, we are actually color correcting after the LUT if we would apply it right here. Now, if we would apply our LUT in the Creative tab, the LUT will then be applied after our color grading. And that is a very big difference. For example, I'm going to apply a very high contrast LUT here to start with so that I can show you guys exactly what it does. I'm going to go to custom here and I've created a quick LUT myself that has some high contrast right here, hard contrast. I'm going to open that up and here you can see what it kind of does. So this LUT has been applied to the clip right now, but I kind of noticed that the shadows here are underexposed and the highlights here as well are now overexposed. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so that you can guys see it better as well. There we go. Now let's say that I want to kind of fix this. So what I want to do typically, you want to go into the shadows and kind of increase that. And uh, also here, the highlights, just bring that down to kind of fix that issue. But I'm kind of running here into a problem. Apparently I can't fix those shadows or, or highlights anymore because these areas are now underexposed while in reality my shot was exposed well. You can definitely see it here on the left side. So what is going on? Well, this LUT here made it underexposed and that's why I can't fix it anymore because we are color correcting after this LUT. Let me just reset everything here. Now let me apply that LUT under the Creative tab. So I'm going to open up the Look drop down menu, head over to Custom, go back to my desktop here and select a hard contrast again. So now we have again that hard contrast. I'm going to go back to basic color correction. What we can do now, and this is pretty cool, we can kind of color correct now before that LUT is applied. So if it would increase the shadows, I'm bringing back all of those details right here, as you can see. So this is the main difference between grading or color correcting before the LUT or after the LUT. Now, why would you use the input LUT? Well, let me answer that question right after the short break from our sponsor. Right now, to make the color grading process a breeze, the team at Rocket Stock are giving away an epic selection of 35 LUTs for free. Easily add a cinematic or vintage look to your videos or customize a LUT to get your video looking just right. Compatible with a variety of NLEs and color grading programs. Once installed, you can apply these LUTs with a single click. Download them now for free. There's a link in the description below. Welcome back, folks. As you can see here under basic correction, it says input LUT. As with the creative tab, it says look. And there's a big reason for that. With the input LUT here in the beginning, we will actually apply a LUT that is designed for the camera that this clip was shot on. This clip here was shot on the GH4 a while back with the V-Lock profile. So that means we are shooting lock here, which is a very flat profile. Now, typically you don't want to deliver such a video to your client. You always want to color correct that. And we can either do that by going into the settings here and kind of increase the contrast back, the saturation, etc. But we can also use a LUT that is designed for this camera. So let me head back to this drop down menu, go to browse. And right here, you can see that I have a specific look and you can get this from the Panasonic website itself. It's an official LUT and this one converts your flat profile here to a Rec. 709. So I'm going to select that, press open and you can see it will kind of beautifully add a nice contrast to this shot. 
And now you don't have to tweak that much anymore here in the color correction settings. More interesting, if you like, you can go to the creative tab and kind of choose a look from here. Kind of go for a specific style and kind of choose that if you want to go for it. So as you can see, we have two LUTs applied to this shot now, where the first one is really a color correction. You don't want to do anything drastic in here, like adding much contrast or anything like that. And then with the creative tab here with this LUT, you can add a specific look to it. And usually you want to take a look that has a specific style that you want to go for. If that look, for example, I'm going to go back to that city space, which is a very hard look. And if your look doesn't match so well with your shot, you can then go back into the basic correction because you know what we had. This is the original image that we are working with and it is beautifully exposed. So we have this information in here, which means we can go into the settings and bring back a little bit of those details or retain those highlights that we are now overexposing. So this is the big difference between a LUT and a look, if you can say it like that. Now, if your camera can't shoot in a lock profile, well, you might be able to find some LUTs on the internet that were created by the community that will also kind of do more of a color correction instead of a color grading to help you set the tone from the beginning. But you will most probably always need to shoot somehow flat. And you can also do that with a neutral picture profile as well. You don't always need to shoot lock for that. So that was it, guys. You can download this video clip with the two LUTs I was using in this tutorial as well. You can find the link to it in the description below, or you can also hit this download button right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've learned something new, and if so, please share this video as well. And thumbs up, don't forget to do that. But most importantly, never forget, stay creative.